What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. As always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Man, um, my voice is still hoarse from uh, the draft, man. And we've been busting a hump today. Man, we've been busting a hump today. Got partials on my inspections. We can actually start putting on insulation up in there. And we're working on some other stuff. If you are interested at all on what's going on at the Red Brick House, uh, check out my other channel, Joe Boo's Day Job. We've been busting a hump on getting that place together. And it changes literally by the day. And we are getting closer. So, you know, every day you get a few more light switches on. You get some heat and, you know, your, your, your duck units. I mean, the HVAC units in there and stuff like that. It's getting closer and yeah, closer and closer and closer. But throughout the day, you know, I've been working so hard and things. And I left my tripod at home, so I haven't been doing too many videos there um, at the house. And then, like, just literally just trying to get this thing together. Because, you know, next Thursday we have the um, schedule release for the NFL season. And I can't wait to see that because I want to see some games I'd like to see. Uh, this year go to in Dallas and stuff. Let's hope that the Washington game is not the last game of the season. Oh, that was the worst. Or the second to last game of the season. That was the worst. Okay, hold up, guys. Sorry, I had to take a phone call there. Uh, look, this thing bounces. Okay, you know, I there's this is the kind of part time of the year where it gets to be there's not a whole lot of stuff going on. I mean, we do have the OTAs that are going on. So you do have the press conferences and stuff. And, you know, everybody, every team in the NFL right now, everybody's, oh, everything's wonderful. Everybody likes everybody. Uh, all the practices are great. The coaching, the plays and all. Everybody is happy right now. You know, the draft picks are all wonderful. You don't get negativity. What you get right now, though, there's a little bit of insight, and you can kind of catch your breath right now and get a feel for where we are. I'll be honest with you. I have to say that this has been the best off season that the Cowboys have had. Now, we've had off seasons before where we traded for, like, Joey Galloway and things like that and stuff, which blew up in our face. We thought that was going to be great. We've had off seasons where we ended up getting Brandon Carr, which he was good. Brandon Carr was was good. It wasn't great. He was good. We had the the one year we got Greg Hardy where we thought, oh man, we got a real beast on the line, man. You know, we got we got a real good guy. He was a beast, all right. He went after the coaching staff and everybody else. So, you know, I'm cautiously optimistic right now. I love what we've done. Now, you know, some people will say, you know, Stefan Gilmore, you know, he's getting old. You know, he had the big injury a few years ago. It's not that great. And I'll say he's better than Anthony Brown. Just is. Other people like Eastside Harold will say, you know, Brandon Cooks isn't that great, but then turn around and say Noah Brown is, is not so bad. But Brandon Cooks, far and away, far and away, is better than what we had starting out last year at the beginning of the season. Remember, we had C.D. Lamb. We had C.D. Lamb until we got back a hurt Michael Gallup. That's an improvement. And I think for once, the Cowboys got away from one of the things that they always do at the draft. That's where... They always want to bargain. You know, there's some people that, you know, some people I've done work for, no matter what price you give them, you can give them the best price in the world, and they still want to get a better bargain. You know, they're still going to nickel and dime you to death. And that's how it feels with the Cowboys. We know they're tight with their money. You know, they actually charge the players for lunch. Whether they eat it or not, part of their salary actually goes to supplementing the cafeteria in there. So Jerry Jones don't waste no money. You don't get to be a multi-billionaire by giving it away. Just don't. But what the Cowboys have always done with that number two pick is they say, we want number one type players. Number one. We're not going to pay a lot for it. We're going to take a scratch. Debt, 
guy who's injured, a guy who's got some off the field issues. And typically, when they've done that, Jalen Smith, Randy Gregory, Boss Man Fat, that hasn't worked. But I feel like this time they said, okay, let's get a guy who's ready to play right now without any issues. Let's stop trying to, you know, shoot for the fences. Let's go ahead and get on base. I like that. And for me, you guys know I'm in love with the big fella. Just them. Just them. You know how I was two years ago when we got Quentin Bohannon. I was like, what? We drafted a nose tackle? A big guy? They're showing the big guy some love? I was blown away. And then last year, and I still say they screwed up. John Ridgway, letting him go. He was busting heads pretty good for Washington. Yeah, definitely. That was a mistake right there. But Mozzie Smith, you know, we, we love the Smiths. I think that that right there is a game changer. You had good secondary right now. You got good linebackers. You need help in the middle of the field. Something that's been ignored for years. I think that that is a major plus. I think, and I don't think, here's the thing that's funny. I don't think the Cowboys are done yet. Let me double check here and see where we are. On over the cap. Um, because in four weeks, we're going to be getting some more money. So at the moment, we're sitting at $12.1 million with another 10 coming. The rookie class is only going to eat up about $5 million of that. It's not going to take a whole lot because it's late first round pick. And you can still get Diggs' contract and C.D. Lamb's done. And that, that's another one of those things that you start going, wait a minute. The Cowboys aren't negotiating contracts in the public? You know, usually they trash their players and try to make them look like they're the good guys. They're not even they're not even discussing. You know, they look Stephen Jones literally said you might wake up one morning and Dax deal's done. Say what? So this is the new improved Dallas Cowboys that are far and away different than anything that we've seen. And I have to say, now of course we gotta get to the season. But this is the best off season that we have had. Since the 90s. Just is. Since the 90s. We'll see how it works out. But if you're a Cowboy fan, you got to be happy. Whew. I'm starving. All right. Peace.